happy Friday. Welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. And if you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today's video is a part of a collab hosted by At Home with Jill. And we're talking all about Fun Friday. Now, I don't know about you, but Friday has always been one of my favorite days of the week. Even when I taught public school, I love Fridays. Fridays were a day that we could relax a little bit. We had already done the tough part of our curriculum and we could have room for those fun things like art projects and science experiments and everything was just a little bit more relaxed. And I wanted to do the same thing when it came to our homeschool. We work really hard Monday at co-op and we work really hard at home on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I wanted Friday to be a day that we were still learning, but in a more relaxed state than what we do the rest of the week. Now, I'm not saying that we tough it out every day because we do unit studies and things like that. And so we don't do like really rigorous work, but I wanted Fridays to be special. I wanted it to be just another special day. And so I'm gonna be honest, when we first started out, it was just as simple as maybe having those Fridays as park days or field trip days. We attempted poetry tea time and learned really quick. That wasn't for us. Um, my son does love poetry, but he wasn't really into the snacks and the tea and that's okay. So. Um, we've tried a lot of different things and then we even got to the point where we were only doing math on Friday and we weren't doing much else and sometimes it turned into just staring at our tablets all day and I don't want it to be like that and so just recently I'm like I've got to revamp this I've got to make this a little more enjoyable but I want to say that just like with everything else that has to do with homeschool you don't have to add fun Fridays to your week don't take all these videos um, and think this is something else you've got to add because you can have a perfectly wonderful homeschool without doing fun Fridays. You totally can. If you decide to do fun Fridays, you can do them as simple or as elaborate as you want to. So what I want you to do is to check out that playlist down below because you're gonna see what fun Friday looks like in a bunch of different homes. And you can take ideas from each of the videos and add them to your home or you can just make it your own. They can be as simple or as elaborate as you want them to be. So I wanna show you kind of what we're doing. So we're kind of new to this revamp um, because just doing math on Fridays wasn't a lot of fun. So I um, had to work on it. I talked to my son about it and I'm like, what would you like to do? What would make it fun? And we decided we wanted to do like themed days. Like, so on Fridays we would have a certain theme and we would just immerse ourselves in that theme. So what you're gonna see in this video is our first fun Friday. Um, I'm not going to have the video in my son's face because I really want to enjoy these activities with him. And sometimes when we put the cameras on our kids, it kind of takes away from the enjoyment of it and me being totally involved. But what I will include at the end of this video are pictures of what we did. And what I also plan on doing is kind of updating you throughout the year on the themes that we cho choose to do on our fun Fridays. And maybe that will give you some ideas throughout the year in case you're stuck. So um, I did notice this past weekend that my son was getting back into Harry Potter. He comes and goes with his phases, just like most kids, and he was getting back into Harry Potter. And I said, hey, how about for our first um, fun Friday, our first theme day, that we just do a Harry Potter day? And it doesn't have to be Harry Potter, so you can do it whatever you want to, but we decided that's exactly what we would do. And so the wheels in my head started turning because I wanted some fun stuff. I know a lot of times if I leave it up to him, he has a hard time coming up with things for us to do. So I did ask his input on things he would like to do. And then he said, why don't you find some stuff that we can do that would be fun? So that's what we did. If you're a mom though, that's totally stuck and like, I don't know what to do. Let me show you one place I started a long time ago. I discovered the Thinking Tree books they're like fun schooling journals, and there's tons of these. If you go to their website, and um, Sarah Janice Brown also has a YouTube page, I'll try to link it. There is a fun schooling journal for just about anything. Um, so this is just a great way to take your child's interest because I'm really, really big on interest-led learning and child-led learning. There is a journal for just about anything out there, and there's also just core journals where your kids can put whatever they want to in it. And these are great ways for them to do that interest-led learning, but to kind of have a guide on what they need to do. So we have the Heroes and um, Villains of History, we have a How to Make Money, we have a couple of the core journals, and we really, really like those. But my son wanted to make his own. He's like, let's use ideas from that and let's make our own. So that's what we did. So at Walmart, if you go to the school section, they have these sketch diaries. 
Now this is a pretty big one. We have the small one that he uses to respond to his um, independent reading. He'll read and then he'll write in it. But they have these larger size ones. This is the size of a sheet of paper for less than $3. And they at our Walmart, they had them in gray and they had them in blue. And so I went ahead and bought two of those and I thought, we'll fill those up and then I can go buy more. It's a really cheap way that we can show what we've learned because I did want to have some documentation of these fun Fridays. I want to look back on this and see what we did. And so these sketch diaries are perfect because they're super affordable. And so they are open right here so you can add a cover and then the pages are just white pages. They're blank. They're empty. They're ready for you to fill with all the fun things that you do. So do you have to record what you do on Fun Friday? Fun Friday? Absolutely not. But I wanted something to look back on and I wanted something that my son could write or draw in or uh, glue pictures into, whatever he wanted to do. And if I take a photo, I would love to put it in there too and not just leave it on my camera for years to come like I usually do. I can print the picture and put it in here. So he wanted to use the blue one first. Blue is his favorite color. He wanted Minecraft on the front. So this is just an image that I found on Google. Google images are your friend. You can make any kind of cover. Um, so that's what he's got here. And he wanted it to kind of be set up like a fun schooling journal. So we talked about what our favorite parts were from fun schooling journals and the ones that we've used before. And so we added those. So we have like history time. We have copy work film study, which is always a lot of fun, creative writing. We just tried to find the ones that we really loved. Spelling time. And if you go on Fun Schooling's website, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. We've used these journals before and these were our favorite pieces from those journals and he wanted to put them in his own journal. This is what we're using with our math on Fridays. That's what we did last Friday. I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit. And then I've added in some stuff for this Fun Friday. So we've put in pictures, and these are things that are going to go with our Harry Potter theme. And we'll add in um, all the other stuff that we do today. So we're just making this journal really um, specific to my son. It's going to be the things he chooses to do and what he wants to put into it. And once we use these first pages at the front, these are kind of guided to kind of give him an idea of what he can do. I can add in more or he can tell me what he likes and doesn't like and we can add those in. So this is how we're just going to record what we do on Friend Friday but like I said you don't have to record it. It can be as simple as pulling out games, going on a field trip, watching a movie, whatever it is. So um, I just want to explain how it kind of evolved in our house and what we plan on doing this year and that is themed days for Fun Friday. So what you're about to see is a video of how we do math. I'm going to show you where we get the math for Fun Friday. And then I'm going to just show you pictures of what our first Fun Friday looked like. Make sure you like and subscribe because I want you to come back and check out our other Fun Fridays. I'm going to try to share, like I said, throughout the year so that if you need some themes or some ideas, you can come here and get those. So let's get into what we did on our first Fun Friday for the year. now for this part of our day, we've already um, made our wands here. They're drying. And so now we're going to do some spells. So we got this Revealio charm I found online. And you print out these little circles. And you need a shot glass and a uh, clear, like a clear stone from, these are from the Dollar Tree. So when you put the shot glass over it, you can't see the word super good, but when you say the Revealio. magic words, and you add the magic potion, the words show up at the bottom. We have a wizard. So we had lots of fun with our Harry Potter stuff, but I still like to do a little bit of math 
on our um, fun Fridays. And so this is what I've been using. I actually found these books on Epic. You can purchase them on Amazon, but I found them on Epic and they're called A Math Journey Through. I first saw these from Jessica at the Waldock Way. She shared about them. So you have Planet Earth, Space, Animal Kingdom, Computer Games, Extreme Sports, Human Body, Wonders of the World, and Oceans. Since we're doing Human Body right now, we gather around, I thought this would be perfect. And what I try to do is two pages a day. So we did start with um, learning about number sense. And so this all relates back to the body, which is what I like about it. And so you just read this to your child or have them read it. And then it has a little place where they can work things out. That same day we worked with tables and bar graphs. This is something we had done the week before. So the day that we did Harry Potter, we learned about percentages. And so he had a few problems to work on and this was all about breathing. And then we also worked on mixed operations, which is something he had not um, met yet in his uh, math lessons for a living education that we did the past two years. So it was something new. And so I was able to show him how to do that and relate this to when you are buying groceries. So these are really neat books. And they would be perfect if you want to still do some math on Fun Friday, but do it in a fun way, in a more relaxing way than just the regular old math that your children usually do. So definitely check these out. Um, like I said, there are a bunch of them. You don't just have to do human body. There are a bunch. If you want the physical copy, you can also get them on Amazon. I'll try to link them below. But if you have Epic, I would check them out there. So I want to thank Jill from At Home with Jill for hosting this collab. It's a lot of fun to watch what other parents and families do for Fun Fridays. I hope you got a lot of ideas, and I hope that you check out the playlist that's linked down below because these mamas are sharing so many wonderful things that are happening in their homeschool. If you have any questions about Fun Friday or if you want to share with me what you do for Fun Friday, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.